Related rates is a difficult topic. And some students asked if I could do a video of some of the examples that I did in class. So I wanna share with you the first one. Uh, we'll just do this, this one problem in this video, but we'll, we'll do a few of these videos along the way. Uh, I'll share with you, we're looking at worksheet number one, the first problem. Now, if you wanna get it out and read it with me, that's fine, but I'm gonna put it here. I'm actually, I printed out the answer key and uh, I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna work on this separate sheet of paper, but uh, I've put down the basic facts up here, but I'll read the problem. Uh, the, top of the, the top of a 25 foot ladder leaning against a vertical wall, most walls are vertical, against the vertical wall is slipping down the wall at a rate of one foot per minute. So the top of the ladder is moving at one foot per minute. How fast is the bottom of the ladder slipping along the ground when the bottom of the ladder is seven feet away from the base of the wall? Okay, so the facts are we have a 25 foot ladder that's sliding down the wall at one foot per minute. The question is how fast is the bottom moving when the bottom is seven feet from the wall? All right, so typically we start these problems with some sort of a diagram. So let's make our vertical wall, let's make our floor, let's make our 25 foot ladder that's leaning against the wall. And we immediately see that this is a right triangle because we had a vertical wall and, there, and we, it didn't actually mention that we had a horizontal floor. Uh, if, we, if we had a hill here, this wouldn't work, but we'll have to assume that we have a horizontal floor as well. Um, and we also know that the top of this ladder is moving down the wall at one foot per minute. So if we think about this diagram, um, kind of look at it and say, oh, well, maybe this could be my X direction. Um, so we'll call this like an X axis, and this is our Y direction, we'll call this a Y axis. And uh, if X is at seven, that means this length is seven. And if we think of this as being a right triangle, well then this Y distance here um, must be the Pythagorean theorem. So we must have seven squared plus Y squared equals uh, 25 squared. And uh, if you do the math on that, uh, Y equals 24. So that means at this moment when the base of the ladder is seven feet from the floor, the height of the ladder is 24 feet. Now, what we wanna know is the change in X as Y is changing at one foot per minute. All right. So again, we go to the uh, Pythagorean theorem because what we wanna know is we wanna know how X is changing. Well, that means we can't let X be fixed at seven. X has to become a variable. So this side is X, this side is Y. Um, we know that Y is changing at negative one foot per minute, but we don't know what X is changing by. But we do know that X squared plus Y squared is equal to 25 squared. Because again, that's the Pythagorean theorem in this case. And we know that the 25 squared, the length of the ladder is not changing. So that does not mean to be a variable, but X and Y, the lengths, the distance that the ladder is away from the wall, and the distance that the ladder leans against the wall at are going to vary. So those need to be variables. So then we do the fancy move of implicit differentiation with respect to DT, D, D, T. So, we take each of these pieces and we derive them with respect to dt. Not, not with respect to x, not with respect to y, but with respect to t. Because what's happening is while the top of the ladder is moving, time is, is there. Time is there happening. Time is there changing. And so while that's happening, this is also happening and they can both be related to time. Otherwise, it's hard to relate them. So they're actually happening at the same time and that's the basis for related rates really. So we're gonna take the derivative of x squared. That's two x, but we're not taking x with, the, with, with respect to x, we're taking x with respect to t. So we have to use the chain rule and multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, which is x. So the derivative of the inside function, x, is dx dt. Then we have to add to that two y. And then again, y is not, well, not the variable we're taking the derivative with respect to. 
So we have to take the derivative of the inside function, which is y, which is going to be dy dt. And then we have to take the derivative of 25 squared, or 625, which is a constant. So that's 0. Now, now we can fill in some things that we know. We know that y, for example, is 24. We know that x is 7. So at this particular moment, we can use this fancy equation, but plug in some values that we know. Um, or, or, if you want, we can solve for dx dt, because that's what we're looking for. We can solve for dx dt. Either way, let's solve for dx dt, because I think in class we didn't do it that way. Let's solve for dx dt. So if we solve for dx dt, we're going to move this whole term to the other side. So uh, let's say 2x dx dt equals negative 2y dy dt. And the twos are going to go away because we're going to divide by two, and we're also going to divide by x. All right. So dx dt, the change in x as time goes by, how fast the base of this ladder is moving per second, that's dx dt. How fast the base of this ladder is moving is dx dt, is equal to, the y's are going to cancel. So negative y dy dt all over x, okay? Okay, now, in this case, at this moment when x is seven, y, oh, I should have wrote, I, should, I don't know why I wrote seven here. We're gonna wind up substituting seven in a second. Or x, we gotta divide by x, we gotta divide by this x, we get x here. We're gonna, that is gonna be seven in a minute. So at this particular moment, when x is seven, when x is seven, x is equal to seven y is equal to 24. That's what we determined up here. y is equal to 24. The negative is in our equation. And then dy dt, dy dt, that's the speed of the top of the ladder as it's sliding down along the wall, which we were told is 1, right? But it's going down. So I'm going to call that negative 1. All right? And therefore, the speed, of, the speed of the base of the ladder, the XDT, is 24 sevenths. The, space, the, the ladder is moving 24 sevenths feet per minute at this particular moment, at this particular moment. Or we could think of that as uh, three and three sevenths feet per minute. That is DX DT. That is the speed that the ladder is moving along the floor exactly at that moment, right? The instantaneous rate of change, All right? So that's a, that's a related rates problem. Uh, we will do more of these on videos, uh, but we're getting started with this one. I hope, uh, hope this helps.